Alright uh, guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are gonna continue with uh, our blocking and we are also going to be fixing some boxes. Uh, some bugs. So yeah, um, let's just fix the first one. And that is, I'm just gonna show it real quick, that when you have your weapon and you unequip, you can still block. Um, that's a pretty easy fix. Just open your weapon server script and we are actually gonna um, set the unequipping attribute to false right at the beginning. Boom, okay. Then the second bug is, oh that's not a bug but I don't know why I did this because it was pretty unnecessary. Um, in our blocking client I did all of those checks on the client even though we already had them on the server, so uh, I can just remove them uh, here. Yeah, okay. And then the last one was that after, if, if you uh, swung your weapon, and right after that you block, uh, your box speed may not. Uh, be set correctly. So for that, open your weapon server, and eh, not weapon server, combat server. Scroll down to uh, this line. If not character get attribute swing, then we reset the box speed, and not character get attribute um, is locking. Okay. So only. If we aren't swinging and aren't blocking, we want to reset our walk speed, what walk speed to normal. Okay, and now let's make a new module in server storage. Here, that is our um, blocking module. Okay, and um, in that blocking module. We want to have a function. So the function is um, module dot blocking. And here we are gonna get the enemy character and the damage. Then uh, we check here if enemy character get get a Attribute blocking dot is blocking blocking is smaller or equals to 100 then um, then we want to set the uh, blocking attribute higher so enemy character set set attribute blocking um, to enemy character get attribute blocking plus the damage and yeah plus the damage okay and then for testing we can already do if enemy character get attribute blocking if it's over or equal to 100 then the enemy character would be got broken. We can just print that for now. Uh, guard break. Okay. Um, but it, this isn't enough, so um, let's open our help for module. And in that help for module, we want to have two new uh, functions. So, the first function is gonna be um, our check in front function so function much dot check in front and that's gonna have the character and the enemy character <clears throat> then we are gonna get the enemy humanoid root part that is enemy character dot humanoid root part 
then the attack direction that is gonna be character dot humanoid report um dot position minus the enemy humanoid humanoid report dot position and then dot unit then the front direction equals to uh, enemy humanoid report dot c frame dot look vector and then the direction is math dot a cos um, then the uh, attack direction dot uh, front direction um, 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 is less than math dot red and 90 degrees okay then um yeah then if not direction then we're gonna return false uh that is when that is like somewhere else uh but else we're gonna return true and that is when the character is in front so uh in front and not in front okay and uh, then let's also get our blocking module up here so uh oh i just gonna name this as made a capital okay um so uh local blocking module equals to uh require script dot parent dot parent dot blocking module okay and now let's make a new another new function and that function is uh, gonna be a function module and check for status okay uh, here we're gonna have our enemy humanoid uh, the player the blocking damage and the and check for blocking okay so then here we get the character first that is player dot character you can also just get the character right here so uh but then you can also you can okay like this and then uh, we have a, a value here that is stop and it's false at the beginning then we are gonna check if check for blocking um, and not stop then uh, did I okay I somewhat misspelled it um, if check for blocking and not stop then we're gonna um, we are gonna check if the enemy character um is blocking so if a character get get attribute holy shit get attribute is blocking and um module dot check in front so if uh, let's pass through our character and the enemy character um so if the enemy is blocking and uh, we are in front of the enemy then we want to continue with our blocking module dot um, blocking and for that we pass through the enemy character and the blocking damage okay that is this 
Yeah. I'm just gonna put the end at the end here. Okay. That is for the blocking. And we can also right uh, here we can just do if uh, enemy character get attribute iframe so we are moving what we already did in the hit service this we are moving this basically here now we can actually just copy this line so uh, if the okay we can get the enemy unit or just do e character dot humanoid dot have is yeah better then um oh we can wait let's we script so if it's smaller or equals to zero and or or has iframes then we want to set stop to true and end and then down here we're just gonna return stop Okay, and now we can actually use this. Um, but we thought that we also have to do one more thing in our hit uh, sun module. So uh, in our sun handler, we are also just gonna reset the is blocking here to false. Okay, and now we can actually use this uh, function from the help for module. So. Um, in our hit service uh, right down here you can first of all remove all of this uh, bim, bim. here Okay, then you can just do it. if head for module dot check for status our enemy character oops enemy character then uh, our character um enemy character our character wait what was it, what was it again uh, Enemy character, our character, then the blocking damage. That is just gonna be damage. And you want to check for blocking. Okay. And if that's true, so if stop returns true here, then return end. Then we don't wanna continue with damaging the player. Because then we are damaging his block and stuff. Okay, now let's try this out. But. Yeah, let's just make it blocking dummy for that. So, just dummy. Uh, that is. Let's. Oh. Uh, let's call him to blocking dummy. And let's give him the. Is blocking attribute. Set that to true. And the blocking attribute and set that to zero. Okay, it's already zero. And by the way, if you get an error while hitting one of those, then it's probably because they don't have those two attributes. But players will always have them. But now we can just check. Okay. That doesn't... Did we even... A second. No, we didn't. We didn't. Wait, did we? Uh, his head is blocking to true. Okay, let's just... Uh, Check why it isn't working. Could have been. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Let's check if it even reaches here. Oops. Okay, so it is supposed to be um, doing that. <clears throat> oh, 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 I know, I know. Uh, 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 where was I? Yeah, here. We here 
<laughs> didn't even set the stop attribute as uh, stop value to true. So it isn't even uh, gonna stop. Uh, stop equals to true. Okay. <laughs> it didn't even stop because we didn't set the stop value to true. Okay, now let's try this again. Yeah, okay. So now it's blocking. We can actually check his blocking attribute because, yeah, it's going up. Uh, as we note, not mine. Uh, it's going up, and if it reaches over 100, it gut breaks him. Okay. Just gut breaks him for now in the output, but yeah. Next episode, we're gonna continue with this, um, but thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day. If you found any bugs, write them in the comments, and bye.